club closes, the gig's finished, but we're still partying out on the street. Melbourne is just like a melting pot of, of awesome, basically. No one's scared to just say what they want to say and actually like put some energy and enthusiasm into creating something fresh and something new. It's got a different vibe because there's always new people everywhere, there's always new shit going on. Uh, we're continuously playing different sounds, so we're constantly drawing from each other's uh, unique view of how we live in Melbourne and how we're drawing inspiration from the rest of the world. Speaking specifically to jazz, I think there's definitely a Melbourne sound. Jazz is, it's house music, it's hip hop, it's in soul music, it's in, yeah, everything. Because it is so young, we're still trying to find what it is that's ours. That kind of experimentation, you know, we find our originality and our own thing, you know. But it's also just the fun part. The contemporary Australian jazz scene is incredible. It sounds so different to the rest of the world because it's about improvisation and like a collective experience. Like it's about making music with other people. It's my friends. Like jazz is like a social activity. You cannot play jazz on your own. I think Australian artists have um a certain edge that's unique, a sort of intensity that's different from anywhere else. I think uh, Melbourne in particular has been a, a great place for me to, to just get in contact with other people who want to push boundaries and take music to different places. It's uh, a blessing in the sense that it's not a humongous city, so that we can we still have really tight communities, and we're blessed to have the space and the facility to create and just just regular sessions and just hanging out, you know. Melbourne, like London, is sort of a central node that everyone seems to gravitate towards. You know, the culture the culture is different in Melbourne to to Perth or, or Sydney. You know, because it's so removed from everything, we kind of take, in terms of influence, we take like little bits of everything and I think with that in mind as well, the, uh, the Melbourne scene in comparison to um, the rest of the world is so young. And I think uh, because it is so young, we're still trying to find our originality and our own thing. The reasons why it's so special is uh, the share house um, community. Like everyone grows up, you know, from the age of 18, everyone's living in share houses and for musicians, that's just a breeding ground for exploration. And it's like some people go to, to university to study jazz and then they're in that world, which is awesome, you know, it's great. But then the share house university is like way deeper than, than any institution could be. I was pretty blown away moving down here and just being around so many great musicians that were also super keen to collaborate and jam and like everyone's pretty keen down here to, to make music which is really good influence for me. It's a major city but it's got a different vibe because there's always new people everywhere. There's always new shit going on. There's always like uh, new projects popping up, musicians from other places rolling through. We're sort of 
continuously pushing each other to strive for more and I think that being sort of showing itself in the way that musicians are dealing with like the artwork and the spaces as well like putting more thought into projections and, and visual art. We're all playing together, we're all collaborating together, we're jamming together, you know, collaborating with dancers, we're collaborating with lots of different styles of music. There's venues that will support, there's uh, artists that want to make things happen, and there's initiative, and there's a level of comfortability in our life where we're able to access uh, these luxuries and be able to actually express ourselves artistically. That and, um, and community radio as well. It's the same where I'm from in Perth, like community radio is really big and important, but in Melbourne it's like they support local music so hard and they actually, to the point where they can grow artists into, you know, international acts. Melbourne's been good for a while. It's just like, you know, with the, the power of the internet, it's just like more people are switched onto what's like, or, you know, like interested as to like what's happening out here. In particular, around this time, like there is like this confidence with peers, other people I make music with and believing in their shit now, you know, and, and having the conf confidence to be like, yo, I got something original to offer. And I think that's, what's most exciting about right now. Everything was born from that coming together of people from different worlds, different cultures, like and it's just bred this thing that's it's not jazz, it's not soul. I think it's different in different parts of the Melbourne scene. Like there's sort of a Melbourne indie rock sound and there's a Melbourne soul sound and there's a Melbourne jazz sound. And I think people like, the Melbourne jazz sound and the Melbourne soul sound sort of blend into each other a little bit. But speaking specifically to jazz, I think there's definitely a Melbourne sound. It was like a kind of neo-soul, funkadelic-y kind of thing going on, which is pretty cool. I think the crossover as well between um, trained musicians and untrained musicians, so people who have come, come up from producing and then collaborating with people who have come up from, I don't know, studying music or something. Those like crossovers is also uh, will create something new. The stuff we're doing is like, it's like humans are becoming cyborgs. Everything sort of can seem like some sort of fusion because the ideas are coming from so many different places. 
it's a blessing because we're just so lucky to get all to get all of the influences from around the world, but then to sort of sieve them through in our own separation. And if people can around the world appreciate like like the the rawness, then that'd be cool too. Cause um yeah, that's we, we keep it pretty raw out here.